Oh my god! Uh, this is so good. Oh my god. Hello, welcome to this video. My name's Dan, aka Lucent, and today I'm going to be reacting to Conan Gray for the first time. I'm doing the full Kid Crow reaction right here, right now. Let's go. As I do at the beginning of every new month, I put the question out, who should I react to next? With the hashtag new month, new artist. So it's like a new discovery for me. And this month, it was a very tight race, but you guys voted for Conan Gray. Last month, I reacted to Phoebe Bridges for the first time, which was amazing. So if you haven't checked that one out, then I'll leave the link. But yeah, like Conan Gray, I literally don't know anything. Don't know anything at all. He's been recommended to me like many, many times, like over like the past year, but I haven't kind of got around to listen to him. So he's kind of been in my backlog. Before we get started, make sure to react Make sure to subscribe to the channel and like this video if you like it too. Also, make sure to stay with me right till the end of the video for my song of the week recommendation once again. Yeah. And um, make sure to let me know what I should react to next as well. Right. Okay. Let's just do it. Let's get right into it. Song number one. This is Comfort Crowd. This hurt that I'm holding is getting heavy. <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus. <laughs> Has he killed someone? Oh cool. It's got a sense of humour but he does seem really lonely. Oh, Maybe he feels like he needs to surround himself by lots of people to not feel lonely. <laughs> I like this a lot. It's a bit tongue in cheek, isn't it? He's like, I don't care who is there. I just want somebody. It's kind of sad, isn't it? Nice. Becoming a bit more epic. Oh. <laughs> I love the harmonies. It's kind of got a bit of Billie Eilish to it in a way, isn't it? Oh. Oh, that's really sweet. I love that like in the performance of his voice, it's very kind of like, kind of quiet and intimate and kind of cute as well. But it kind of brings like a sense of humor to everything he's writing and that's matched perfectly up with the lyrics. But it's kind of this kind of sense of humor that's quite dark. The true feelings of that is that, are that he is very lonely and he's being very open about that. But it's kind of through a filter of like humor. I guess it's almost like a protective kind of thing. You feel like you get a real sense of who he is immediately. Yeah, very cool. I like that a lot. Right, let's go on to the next song. This is song number two. This is Wish You Were Sober. Mm. <laughs> I love this. He sounds very young, doesn't he? Yeah. Oh, I love this. Oh. Oh, oh, I love this. Oh, I love it. And it's so well produced. It's so tight. Sick. Oh, so this person he's with is like getting too drunk and, he, and it feels like Conan's having to make excuses for them, you know? I love this. Oh my God. Oh, it's like at moments Conan feels like he has this like perfect romance, you know, what he wants. But the drunkness kind of ruins it, you know? Oh, I love that. Take me where the music ain't too loud, yeah. Oh, I loved that. I loved that. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, saving, 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 saving. It really feels like it's coined onto a feeling that I feel, you know? Whenever I go out and, I mean, I haven't had relations with anyone in a very long time because of Corona, but <laughs> like when you're with somebody and you're out and you're drunk and they're like being all over you and being, but it's, it's messy. Yeah, I get it. And it's almost what I want, but what I really want is you to take me somewhere private so we can go in somewhere a bit quieter so we can go into the to the seat of your rover. And I want you to, to do all these romantic things with me. It's almost like, this is almost what I want. Should I settle for this? But actually, no, this isn't what I want. I wish, I wish you were actually sober and that we had something real, you know? I loved that. 
It was so beautiful. Oh, what a banger. Oh my God, I loved that. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Yay, thank you so much for the suggestion. I've already found a song that I love. <laughs> Let's go on to song number three. This is Maniac. Maniac. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, this is cool. It's a very dark sense of humor. Ha. <laughs> ha. Yeah, stop playing with my heart. You tell me that you don't want me, so why do you keep on calling me and playing with me? You're a maniac. <laughs> Don't do it, Conan. Like, you're, like, making it worse for yourself. I know you can't help it, though. <laughs> Still got that tongue-in-cheek, isn't it? That's really cool. That's so mean, isn't it? Yeah, he's completely playing with him. You're saying you just dated me for laughs. That's so sad. If you say all this stuff to all our friends, then why do you call me back and say, Oh, no, I want you back. Like, psycho, yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is cool. This is really cool. Yeah, this is sick. It's kind of 80s actually, isn't it? I love like the rhythm of the of the drums and the um and the bass kind of chugga 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 kind of thing. Cool. Yeah, that's really good, isn't it? Like it tells like such a good story. Like it like it really sums it up really well. You say that I'm a stalker. You say that I'm a psycho. But you're the one who keeps on turning it around and saying you want me back and playing with my head. You're the maniac. Yeah, makes me really feel for him. But also like his attitude is so much is very positive, isn't it? It almost feels like he's pepping himself up and trying to give himself that self-confidence back. It's really well written. A good pop song. And it sounds unique and sounds different. Yeah, cool. Love it. Let's go on to song number four. This is Online Love. I wonder what the brackets are for. Oh, it's an interlude. Oh. 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 Huh? Oh, that's really cute. So it's just like a tiny little interlude there that like... It kind of, online love, I'm guessing he's met somebody over the internet and they're never actually really there. And it's kind of just a tiny little demo, almost like he's in a coffee shop, just kind of recording it to himself. And then it's like, yeah, okay, whatever, delete it. Such a unique little moment. Really interesting artist, this guy. It's really got something creative about him. Let's go on to song number five. This is Checkmate. Oh, 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 oh. Yes. I love this. <laughs> Oh, this guy is messing with him. Or girl. I'm assuming it's a guy. <laughs> yes. This is so good. Oh, this is so sick. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, this guy's playing with him and it's not okay. Oh, ha, yes. Yes! This is so good. <laughs> this is so f***ing cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I love how it's so big and it goes, boop, cry me a river till you drown in the lake. <laughs> I love this. Sick. Oh my god. Wow. Uh, that is so ace. I have not heard something like that in a while. It's totally unique. So this guy's still playing him, you know, but you think you're winning. You think that you're playing me, but actually like I'm ready for you and I'm ready to bite back. Um, I might be holding your hand in one hand, but in the other, I've got the loaded gun. So good. So cool. Such brilliant lyrics. But then I just absolutely love how it kind of goes from really then da 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 like the kind of rock moments that are really big but then it goes so close at absolute moments notice it's just really really cool and so well done and so unexpected and every song so far has been really different oh yes please so far smashing it this album is sick like <laughs> like i'm just excited to see what the other songs on the album are like to be honest like it really does feel like, it's got such a sense of humour, it's got such a cleverness to it, the lyrics are brilliant, but, like, the 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 production on it is so fun and so unique and so playful and so creative. It really is inspiring. It's making me think that I really want to, like, embrace parts of this into my own music already. Let's go on to song number six. This is The Cut That Always Bleeds. 
Um, <laughs> I feel like this might be a sad one. So get the tissues ready. Huh. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh. My God. Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> what? Oh my God. <laughs> oh. Wow. <laughs> this is gorgeous. I feel so bad for him. <sighs> Just, he's completely manipulating him. Isn't that just so heartbreaking? <laughs> and it's that big and small thing again. It's so wonderful. Those eyes are so stunning. Oh, he still needs him though. Ooh, oh my god. This is so heartbreaking. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> uh, oh my god! Stunning! <sighs> now I know why so many people have recommended Conan Gray to me because this is so right up my street. <laughs> that was so beautiful, so stunning and so heartbreaking. Like he took away the level of humour there and he really opened up to us. To feel like he, like this other person is like keeping him on a leash, but like to hear how devoted Conan still sounds, it's just so heartbreaking to hear. And like, it's just so well done. Like those huge, huge, huge moments to get and bring it back so small are just absolutely brilliant. He's playing with your expectations. Right at the end, just when you think you know where it's going, he takes off the last word and he leaves you hanging. It's just so, so good. So clever. The, yeah, wow. Jesus. Right, okay. Let's go on to the next song. This is song number seven, Fight or Flight. So it feels like this might be a crucial moment for him. Yeah. You're cheating on him. How dare you. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Again, there it is. Oh, it's being cheated on. Oh my god. It's that panic moment, you know. He can't cope with the fact that he still loves him. He doesn't know how to deal with that. I'd rather die than tell you I'm in love with you. Completely torn. Okay, the story's continuing. Oh. Oh. It's the other person. Oh. So this person's been playing both Conan and this other person at the same time. And they've turned up to his door. And they're also heartbroken. And this person is just a player. <sighs> I've dated this guy. <laughs> I've dated this person. <laughs> It's just, I just totally, like, wholeheartedly relate to that. I mean, I mean, th that specific situation didn't happen to me. I think I would have completely messed me up if that had happened. But, like, I know what you're going through, mate, and it sucks. He really does do such a good job of, like, summing up, like, how that feels to be cheated on. It's almost like that feeling where you kind of, you know something's going on in the back of your head, but you kind of deny it because you want it to happen and because you still feel like you love this person despite like even even what they did to you or do I just ditch him and run or do I fight for the love I don't know it's it's kind of that that idea that you're kind of stuck in between oh this is such a good album <laughs> <laughs> let's go on to the next song this is affluenza affluent plus influenza maybe somebody who has a lot of sway who was very affluent but their power is almost like sickening. I've already figured it out, mate. Don't even need to listen to the song. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, okay. Okay. Ooh, nice. 
Yeah, okay. Having money because of all these rich families, but their lives aren't real. That's really clever. Huh. It's really telling the story of like these rich kids who can't connect, you know? I think with money, life is just too easy. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Back to the humor, I see. <laughs> Oh, he's so good at mixing his song up every minute. It's a little bit like Lord in that sense. So cool. Interesting song. Very clever. It's a very knowing kind of assessment of this kind of rich kid lifestyle. I'm not sure whether he's saying if he wants it or not. Like from my perspective, it really, it feels like these rich kids don't know what they're doing with their lives. They're given all this money and they're given all this kind of like affluence but they don't know how to connect to other people because they've never had to work for anything so i've always said to people you know people are like oh i'd love to win the lottery and i'd love to win a million pounds and i've always said i wouldn't love to win a million pounds like can you imagine like a so many people would suddenly want to be friends with you because you're rich i want real friendships i want depth of friendships two did I say A or B? I don't know. You wouldn't have to work for anything. Like, I don't want a life where I just sit back and do nothing. How boring. Do you know what I mean? Like, yes, I would love a bit of money so I could, like, make my own recording studio. But, like, the reality is that I want to make my music successful. And that is a challenge. And that is gives me purpose. And I think that that is kind of what Conan's getting at with these with these kids who are born into money. Just keep on watching these videos and uh, and maybe I can get some sponsorships and I'll be able to pay my rent. <laughs> okay, let's go on to the next song. So this looks like it's another interlude -y type thing. And this is, Can We Be Friends? Could you be my best friend? <laughs> Aww. Stare at people that we like. That's really sweet. <laughs> Aww. Oh my god. <laughs> it's sad that he doesn't already have that. It's almost like these these two little songs are almost like little like musings, you know? It's very hopeful. Like he's met this person and that and, and he's kind of thinking, you know, will this be my best friend? You know, it sounds so young. I'm glad that I have those people in my life. <laughs> Let's go on to the next song. This is song number 10. This is Heather. Oh. Oh, wait, I think this one was on the radio recently. Oh, lush. I still remember <laughs> me in your sweater. Oh. Your by oh, my God. Oh. 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 <laughs> oh my god <laughs> He's still got that humor <laughs> That is just really sadistic <laughs> I just relate to this like so closely Oh, that's that mo- that is just polyester, like, brings it right back, doesn't it? I wish, I wish I was her, you know? I'm paying a lot of attention to the gender pronouns here, and I feel like this might be a straight guy, you know? Oh my god. Oh. My god. How dare you? <laughs> There's just so pinpoint, beautiful, so well written. Like sums up that feeling like just so, so well. I borrowed your your jumper <laughs> and it smells like you and I love wearing it and I'm sat with you, but you're not looking at me. You're looking at this girl called Heather and I wish I was her. I wish I was the person that you looked at. I wish I was the person that you would kiss and would love, you know? and. It's that kind of ultimate unrequited love. But the reason it hit me so hard is because, correct me if I'm wrong, but for him to be in love with this guy, presumably, who, I mean, he might be bisexual, but by the tone of it, it doesn't sound like that. It sounds like he could never love Conan because he's straight. And that resonates with me so specifically. I feel like it's such a unique experience for, for, for gay people. It's like an unrequited love that is just so, like, stark. 
it really is just so heartbreaking to go through. It's something that, like, I feel like a lot of um, straight people might not quite understand the nuances of it because, like, when, like, straight is standard, you don't, like, straight people can go around, like, like flirting with people and falling in love with people and, you know... A, a very like small chance that the people that that they're gonna fall in love with are gonna not be interested because of sexuality, like statistically. But for me and for other gay people, it's something that like is so common. Like if if I were to open my heart and was open to the idea of flirting with or being attracted to every man that was around me, I would break my heart so many times because like nine times out of 10, I come into contact with mostly straight people. And when you fall in love with a straight person, like I did when I first fell in love with somebody when I was 20 years old, it can feel just totally hopeless because it makes you feel like you can never find what you're looking for. If this is the kind of person I fall in love with, how the hell am I ever gonna find someone who's gonna love me back, you know? But it's just such a specific feeling. And I think that that is so unique to the LGBT experience. And I think Conan has really, really, really summed it up so beautifully. That was hard. <laughs> okay, let's go on to the next song. This is Little League. That's like baseball, right? Mm. Oh, this is nice. This sounds a bit nostalgic. I love the drums. Childhood friends. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Cool. I love the harmonies and it's kind of big vocal production. Oh, It's kind of like dreaming of when it was simpler and wishing we could go back there. You know, I love it. It's so beautiful. And I love that it, it builds it up and it sets up your expectations and then takes it back down. It's so great. He's probably only like 20. <laughs> Yeah, so cool. Oh, so cool. Man, I just love that sense of a, like a nostalgia song. Before even the lyrics came in, it felt like that, you know, there's a warmth to it. Yeah, I think it's at some point in our lives, we've all felt like we wish it could go back to, to simpler times, you know? For me, like most of the time, I do not. I was so awkward when I was younger. <laughs> love it. Ah, oh, this is so good. Thank you so much for suggesting Conan Gray to me. Let's go on to the last song. This is song number 12. This is the story. It's quieter. About a boy and a girl on a boring for me so they didn't love them so stones on one. Oh. I know a boy and a boy. Uh best friends with each other always wish they were more. Oh. He's really coming to terms with the adversity that gay people face. But he thinks he's gonna make it work. Has optimism, you know? Aww. I love his voice there. The world's getting better, you know? Things are changing. Aww. This is a nice finale, isn't it? Whoa. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> it's not the end of the story. It's not the end. Oh, that's a really nice way to end the album, isn't it? Oh my god. <laughs> so, so beautiful. Kind of starts off talking about two people who met with them at 16. I'm assuming that like maybe he was talking about grandparents and then using that as a kind of juxtaposition for two young boys feeling the same way about each other and not being able to have that thing where they lived together until they died. Like it's a common story, Sweet 16, you know, these two people meet at school and they get married and live together happier ever after. But that's not the way for two boys or hasn't been the way for two boys because still as gay people, we are still afraid to show our feelings in the real world because we're afraid of getting hurt. We're afraid of getting bullied. I was mercilessly bullied at school. If I was in love with a boy at school, I never would have been able to say anything about it. But it's not the end of the story. 
things are changing, things are getting better every day, you know, and I see it even with people who are 10 years younger than me, the stories of people going to prom and drag and people who are feeling so confident in their sexuality at a young age is something I didn't have but I feel amazing that the world is changing and getting to a place where these people are accepted from a young age and I think that is what the song is about is that with every year it gets better not everywhere in the world mind you you might be watching from somewhere that's still very not accepting of homosexuality but there are places in the world and there are people who will love you and accept you for who you are and that group of people is growing and growing and growing things are changing and there's hope and that is what that song really really sums up is that there is hope for the lgbt community there is hope for us that we can have that love that traditional love and i hope that i will find that too wow okay Overall, can we just talk about like what an amazing discovery. This is why I love, love doing this channel is because like I get suggested people by you and I'm like, I don't know who that is. And then I give them a listen. And I'm like, Jesus Christ, they're amazing. It's so inspiring. It makes me want to up my game in my own songwriting, you know. And it's so nice to hear a pop star who their music is so relatable for my experience. More often than not, I'm listening to female singers because that's the closest approximation. But to hear a male singer um, who is, you know, singing about my experience, you know, clearly LGBT. I'm not sure if he's gay or bi, he doesn't, you know, specify. It's so nice to hear that kind of music coming through and getting traction. And this album is so good, so creative, so imaginative, so heartbreaking. <laughs> I think I'd have to say my favorite songs were Wish You Were Sober, that was great. Checkmate was really good. The Cut That Always Bleeds. And then I loved Heather, obviously and Little League in the story. <laughs> well, thank you so much for suggesting that album and thank you so much for voting it at the top this month. Keep an eye on my channel at the beginning of next month where you'll be able to vote for another new artist for a new month. If you have any other suggestions for artists that I haven't reacted to yet, then make sure to write it in the comments below. I do videos every single Friday. Okay, so for my song of the week this week, I have chosen a song from Churches and this is Death Stranding. So you might recognize the name. That's because it's the name of a very popular video game that had a lot of hype a couple of years back. And oh my God, it's such a good song. It's like this epic song kind of saying when everything is falling down around us, will you stay with me? And it's so beautiful. But it's got that kind of signature churches, electro pop vibe merged with her beautiful Scottish vocals. You should definitely check it out. I'll leave a comment below and that will have the link. Death Stranding by Churches. Thank you so much for tuning in to the end. I've been Dan. I will see you next Friday for another reaction or I'll see you on Tuesday if you want to watch that video too. <laughs> okay, cool. Bye.